so has happened. Capcom has dropped the ball and announced a new expansion for Monster Hunter World, called Iceborne, which will bring a new tundra map, a host of new monsters, weapons, armour and more. So, with this announcement, I want to theorise on some of the monsters that could or will show up in the expansion. Some of the ones I mentioned will sound quite obvious, while others may sound out of place, but will be explained with good intention as to why they fit. So let's look at the obvious ones. Naga Kruger, Tigrex and Baroth. These three are given, as from the final trailer of the expansion we see red eyes with a silhouette of monster that leaves a faint reddish glow while moving. This movement is the same movement as Naga Kruger, who is known to move around with fast yet sleek movements that incorporates most of his attacks, but also showing his signature red eyes telling us he will make a return nonetheless. Now with the obvious telltale sign indicating this monster making a return, it would also mean both Tigrex and Baroth have a very high sign of returning as well, as they both share the same similar bone structures as Naga Kuga, while also both monsters are known for inhabiting the icy base maps. So I'm very confident in saying that these two monsters have a very high chance of returning back to the expansion, with their subspecies counterpart as well. Now this next part will focus purely on speculation as these monsters may or may not return, but sound like they may if they get opportunity given to them. So first up we have Balagonga, a fang beast monster known to inhabit ice based maps. Known to be an alpha leader of the Blangos and very territorial, it would make a lot of sense to see a return species be introduced for the ice maps as a common and introductory monster just like how the Jaguars and Great Jaguars are common for the forest. Along with that, if introduced, it could also mean that Kongala and Ko and Reijang could have a chance to return as they both have similar bone structures to work off of and both are fine beast monsters, just like Balagonga, making it possible for the two to also show up in the expansion. Next we have Kizu and Giganox. So these two slightly disturbed monsters have always been a fan favourite to many for their gross deep features to very unique designs compared to many other monsters in game. It's odd to see such a monster not introduced to world to begin with as it would fit perfectly in the Rotten Realm and probably the Elder Recess in some newly formed areas. But these monsters have the ability to stay within the tundra based maps as well as they're known to be cave dwellers. Plus, if introduced, Kizu would be the second electric based monster in game behind Kirin and Giganox would be the second based poison monster in game just like Puki, so they would both be a great addition to the game. Next up we have the Vespoi Queen. Now, it sounds weird to introduce such a monster since it had little showtime in both Freedom 2 and Unite, and was kind of forgotten from there. But I do see this monster making a great return for the Age of Forest as a first major insect monster to be introduced for us. As it stands, we don't have any sort of mixed selection for other species, so extending the current selection will be very welcoming for insect based monsters. Also, I can see this monster being remade slash redesigned in World Image. As to be honest, it's literally just a bigger version of a Vespoid with little changes added to it. That, with some of the areas in Age of Forest or Core Highland needing some love with their visual design, it would fit perfectly for such a unique monster to be introduced into worlds. Next up we have Zingori. Not much to say about this Thunder Pup, except that it is a monster that everyone, whether new or old, may have heard of and loved. It shares an identical skeleton frame like Odagawa and Toby Kodachi, and isn't limited on being based in one area or time, so it gives the dev team a large reason to add this monster in game. It also has a unique moveset, unique attack, unique design, and well, we just kind of want him back in HD glory. I don't really need to explain him even more from there. Lastly, we have Altrion and Aroshi Kirin. These two elders have been known since the very beginning of World before the game was even released and were supposedly meant to show up some point. But when exactly that was meant to be is still currently unknown. Now with the expansion being introduced, it seems like now would be a perfect time to introduce both monsters, as it fits the theme perfectly for both of them, and they are literally the last leaked monsters that have not officially showed up. Now whether we'll get them early on in 2019 is still unknown, but if we don't get them early in 2019 or mid 2019, then around expansion time will probably be the perfect time to release both two new elder monsters. Now that is all the ones I believe may have a chance to show up, I didn't want to go overboard as the video could go on forever, plus if I added in some species as well, then this video would probably be going on a heck of a long time. So I wanted just to show a quick summary of the few that could potentially show up. So like always, please tell me what you think and what monsters you believe may show up in expansion, or ones that you would like to see. Now if you enjoy the content then do leave a like and a sub for more future similar content as I plan to do more. But like always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.